man, you want a man who's making five hundred thousand dollars a year, and you're attracted to, and yes. he doesn't want kids. I do want kids. The point is, what you're basically trying to get, what you're trying to get the audience to accept is, these men don't exist, and I've showed over and over for months and months they do exist. They just don't want women like you. Or mm. they're not, not women like me. No, 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 like, they well, don't. Yeah, no, no, no. See, you keep. See, 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 the thing is, this is what you just said. They're not ready for women like you. There's always a deficit on the men's side. No, they don't want you. You ladies control access to sex. We control access to relationship. So you can say whatever you want. We control access to relationship, and they don't want it with you, and they're going to get it from another woman. Attraction. You're supposed to be the attractive one. Oh, okay. Little by trike. Here we go. Welcome back to Richie Rich Abroad. What's up, YouTube fans? It's your boy, Richie Rich, coming to you with yet another video from The Godfather, Kevin Samuels. We're going to get right into it, but before we do, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that notification button to make sure you get the next video when it pops off. Let's get right into the first video without any further ado. A ain't it crazy how women know, they know, they always don't, ain't it crazy how you always hear women say, oh, all men want is sex, all they want is sex, but they don't get when they're being finessed by men who just want sex. Oh, baby, I love you. Oh, I want to marry you. I want you to have my babies. That's just men, that's just men finessing you. That's all it is, is men trying to, trying to run game at you to see what it takes to get inside your drawers. That's it. You control the access to your draws. You control the access to the cave, to the clam, or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. You control that access, and we control the access to relationships life. Let's keep it cracking. So why should you get anything over? Then why should you get above average? What do you mean settle for? You should and get I what see, you are. I see, I see millionaires with average women all the time. Man, you got two children. <laughs> And you said you are six. I give you, okay, five, six. You, you, your numbers together would be average. So, why, so an average man would be upgrading to get you? <laughs> She's not even a six. Where is this six coming from? I, I, this is, is <laughs> ah, high value men with average women. Yes, you do see it. But that's not you. <laughs> Look, I didn't say I'm that. Asking, I'm asking, man. Would you say that you're a woman that's uh, in high demand or most wanted? I could be. I mean, yeah, I could be. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> man, you're 37 with two children. Where in the world do women who are average to above average look, average to cute, who are a little overweight with two kids, where are these women in high demand? So if I wanted a high value man, what do I do? Be reincarnated. You can't get one. <laughs> I've been dating this guy now who's a high, pretty high value. And we, we've been talking How about How old is he? He's 51. Uh-huh. And what makes him high value? He own his own... Uh, car dealership uh -huh. and he has multiple businesses uh -huh. uh he own houses like uh -huh. he's doing he's doing pretty good for himself he's okay. probably not rich but ma'am being high value is more than just money so you ladies can call it what you want and i'm thinking if the, how long have y'all been dating um two weeks I said seriously, but considering you to be a wife in two weeks, ma'am, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, she she made it sound like they've been together for a, a hot minute, right? <laughs> I've been talking to this dude. He's a high value man. He's got property. He owns multiple businesses. He's really into me. We've been together for uh, two weeks. <laughs> but tell me about what the men that you want want from a woman. Run that I, resume down. And they want all the qualities that I have. I would. Well, then you should have no problem. That's what I'm saying. I should have no problem. But, I get well, but, but, the, but, but apparently that's not what they want. Okay. But then why aren't the men who want that 
approaching you because they do exist. They do. Are they still playing games? Maybe they're out here just. No. They're the ones hoeing it up because it's. Yeah, that must be it. They're out there playing games. They're the ones holding it up. The ones that are high value, the ones that are high value men, the ones that are working hard, the ones that are on their grind, they must just be out there holding it up because they don't want me. This is not me. No. Do you make room for the possibility? Maybe they're just reading that you're not what you say you are. Ma'am, you want a man who's making $500,000 a year and you're attracted to. And yes. he doesn't want kids. I do want kids. The point is, what you're basically trying to get what you're trying to get the audience to accept is these men don't exist. And I've showed over and over for months and months they do exist. They just don't want women like you. Or they don't, not it's not an women like me. No, no, no. Like, they don't. No, no, no. See, you keep see, 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 the thing is, this is what you just said. They're not ready for women like you. There's always a deficit on the men's side. No, they don't want you. Those men do not want me. But when they, they approach, don't. When they approach and, and, and here's the thing. wanting listen, me and asking me to marry them. And listen, them, listen. But then when we sit around listen. and come out and about, like, see, what? She's not, now, now, now your ego's involved. Listen. No, no. Shame. Insult guilt and need to be right all right you get butt hurt the ego gets crushed a little bit and now you got now you get mad now you got to over talk people now you got to be all loud and you don't want to listen and you have to be right you have to get the last word in mm, we've seen it before you ladies control access to sex we control access to relationship so you can say whatever you want we control access to relationship and they don't want it with you and they're going to get it from another woman. It's just that simple. It, it hurt. You know, I mean, I get it. It hurts when you have so many men your whole life telling you how beautiful you are. And then, but those are not the men you want. And the men you want ain't even paying attention to you because they don't, they don't look at you the same. They know their value. They understand that they're wanted. They understand they're desired. And they understand that they have lots of options and they just don't look at you as one of those options. Next clip. How could I juggle it with getting a high value man back that um, I felt like I lost because I wasn't ah. um, in therapy. I wasn't, okay. um, I wasn't ready. And he called uh. it out. He said I needed to get therapy and I really want him. Okay. It was ended. He said that you need to yeah. get your, your stuff together. Yeah, he said, literally, I need to get therapy. Have you so, done that? Yes. I've been in therapy from that time. So, yes. All right. I'm, I'm All still right. in therapy. When was the last time you've spoken to this man since your breakup? Um, I haven't just over a year since that time, but it's mm -hmm. since all that has passed. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like I lost him. I, I moved on and uh -huh. I got married, but I don't want to be. With you got married? Woman. Yeah. You're currently married? Yes. I'm oh, married, yeah. no, no, no. What? <laughs> <sighs> Mm -mm. Oh, you got to be kidding me, ma'am. Are you trolling me? No, I'm not. You, you broke know, up. This guy called it out. And instead of, and you said you wouldn't have gotten therapy yeah. and you're married and you're actually, you're actively on a platform with a million folks actively talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value. The ex who doesn't want you, who left you and told you to get therapy. That ex. Because he's high value. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you, ma'am. I've heard some pretty interesting things in a year and a half of doing this show. You probably have to be probably the, probably the worst woman I've ever spoken to. What? Wow. Now, I was hoping you were trolling, but the more you talk, the more realistic you are. So I honestly hope whoever knows this woman's husband, make sure he watches this video. Women are super fine, but some of these women are very good looking and you can quickly see that 
they ain't it. I mean, she's on this platform married, trying to find out how she can get her ex back who dumped her and told her to go get therapy. If that's not crazy, what's crazy? Can you imagine this being your wife and she's on the Kevin Samuel show trying to find out how she could get her ex back? That's crazy. Why would you even do that? Why? I don't understand, man. Anyway, next clip. I don't think you know what you're talking about regarding OnlyFans. That's for sure. Because but I do know what I'm talking about as far as business and making money. In regards to making money, money comes in waves, and we all have to understand that. And if we all invest successfully, we can. Where are you investing? Where are you investing? So people are. Where are you investing? Average. Where are you investing? That's none of your business. It's it's a secret. To, you know, declare well, see, you, I, I accept what you just said, but you said money comes in waves. Granted, we have to invest. It's taken. Where's some of the places you're investing? Yeah, says, see, this is what this is what this only fan economy is done. It's let women with really low functioning knowledge, no high value or high Excuse ticket skills. Me. That's not low functioning knowledge. Uh, well, let's talk. OK, every time I've asked you, I've asked you any question about business and you've asked me a question instead of answering it. And I said, what? and if it's not you eat the meat, spit out the bones. But what only fans has done. It's, it's created a bubble economy. Women are coming, rushing to OnlyFans, thinking that it's the new dot com, the new real estate. And they're realizing that there is no sustainable way to pro project this out for over five years. Now, maybe you don't know that knowledge, but I do. Hafez has been, the, he's trying to be as measured as possible. I came in trying to be as measured as possible. And what are we getting? We're getting Attacked, we're getting angry, we're getting you don't know why nothing, you don't know what I do know. What I do know, what I do know, what I do, what I do know, what I do know is of in, of all the business people on this platform, the people who are going to have long term success are not you. Men have no place at all to say how women should and should we have every place we built the goddamn world you live in. No, you didn't. I'm gonna God, say God, you're on is built by men. I'm going to say one one nobody made this about men. You guys or women. Do not get paid. This is, this is what this I is, stay here. So this is what tends to happen when whether it's OnlyFans, TikTok, Instagram, and, and when women can't handle it, they leave. <laughs> this is the point. You, this is about business. Business isn't offensive. But when people in their lack of knowledge gets exposed, they get offended. They call themselves experts and business owners and everything else. You're sh online strippers. This is what the world has done. It's got little pampered princesses who can get online, make some money and think that they're on the same level as men who built this world. And they are not. That's what you just saw them leave because they can't go get onto Wall Street, Main Street, anywhere into a bank, into anybody's business to be taken seriously with their so-called business plan or their go to market strategy. We're not equal. It's just that simple. God didn't intend for us to be equal. I, I, I don't understand why women are so crazy about being equal. But then they want you to open the door for them. Or then they want you to pay for the date. Or then they want you to, to buy them this and buy them that. Do they get their hair, pay for their hair and their nails. But they're equal. Well, if you're equal, you pay for all of that. If you're equal, you take me out. If you're equal, you buy me ice cream. You pick, you come pick me up. I'm just saying, we ain't equal. We're not going to be equal. And that's why we're supposed to protect you. That's why I don't expect you to provide and protect for me. And that's my job. Next clip. Let me just go ahead and net it out for you. You ready? Uh-huh. The guys you want aren't asking you out. 35, 13-year-old son with a sketchy father. Why would a man who's in the top 10% of earners who women across the country want, want that? Um, because I have a lot to offer. What That's would you rank yourself on a scale from one to 10? You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm -hmm, just your face. Um, my face when I wake up, five, but when I put myself together, six. Okay. And how tall are you? Five, five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three.
Well, I'm, at least she's fit and feminine, right? Okay. So that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. So, um, did you, did you, I mean, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Breathe and digest. Let it sink in. So what is your advice for, uh, women that, all right, I'll tell you my advice, man, because you're not listening to me. This is why I always recommend you need, you need to need therapy. Everyone, people think most of us in the black community need therapy, but you're not you're not dealing with reality. Because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being. Don't tell me I'm being mean. I've, well, I'm about to be mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle the goddamn truth. You called my show on a day that you ain't even supposed to be here. And I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you, telling me I'm being mean. Get the fuck out of my phone. Damn. <laughs> Some scorching calls from the Godfather. And look, he broke it down. And the, the good thing, he started a trend where people started to say what they really felt. Instead of men finessing women, telling them what they want to hear and being simps, you got a group of men, you got a larger group of men, a much larger group of men. You have a much larger group of men now who are willing to tell a woman what they really think. It's your job to just be real. As Kevin, as the Godfather says, we are in control of relationships. Never forget that. Never forget that. You're in control of the relationship. She can control what's down there, but you got the con- ultimate, but you have the ultimate control of the relationship. That's the message. Let me know what you think about the video. I love watching videos. I could watch videos from The Godfather all day long. I got a few more videos from The Godfather coming at you in the near future. I love watching the videos. I love putting them out. We get so much response and so many comments from both men and women. And don't forget, if you like this video, we got some other videos that are just as good. For Richie Rich Abroad, it's your boy, Richie Rich. Deuces.